If you design websites, you're probably doing this, designing in Figma, then rebuilding everything in Framer. What if you could just skip Figma entirely? Framer just released design pages, and it might actually let you do that. Let me show you how it works and whether it actually replaces your Figma workflow. Here is the workflow most of us are stuck in right now. You open Figma, you start designing. You are iterating on layouts, testing different hero sections, playing with typography. You duplicate frames, you try variations, you are in full creative mode. Then you land on something you like and what happens? You have to rebuild it in Framer. You are copying styles, recreating layouts, matching spacing. It's not hard, but it's tedious. And honestly, it's double work. Design pages changes that completely because now you can do all that ideation, all that experimentation directly inside Framer. And when you're ready, you convert it to a live page in literally one click. No rebuilding, no transferring, no Figma needed. Okay, so what actually is a design page? I'm in Framer right now and over here on the left panel, there is now this section called design. When I create a new design page, I get this freeform canvas, basically an infinite space where I can design without any constraints. The key thing to understand is design pages don't publish. They're not part of your live site. This is purely your ideation space, your sketch pad. Nobody says this but you. So I can be as messy as I want here. I can have 20 versions of the same header. I can have half finished ideas scattered everywhere. Doesn't matter. And all the tools you'd expect are here. Frames, text, shapes, images, vectors. Everything works exactly like it does in the rest of Framer. Drag and drop, super intuitive. You can create as many design pages as you want. Maybe you have one for initial concepts, another for your style guide, one for icons, whatever makes sense for your workflow. It's completely flexible. And here is what's cool. Because it's still Framer, you have access to all of Framer's advanced features. Things like gradients with P3 color profiles for richer, more vibrant colors, or 3D transforms if you want to add depth to your designs. Even they're vector tools for creating custom icons. But the magic is what happens next. Say I'm designing a portfolio site. I'll create a hero section here, add a frame, throw in some text, add an image. Looking pretty good. But now I want to try some variations. Different font pairings, different layouts, maybe image on the left instead of the right. In Figma, you duplicate your frame a few times and start tweaking. That's exactly what I'm doing here. But here's the difference. When I find a version I like, I just right click and hit create web page. And boom, Framer converts this design into a fully functional page that I can add to my site. All the styling is already there. All the elements are already built. I just need to add my breakpoints, set my links, make it responsive, the production stuff. But I didn't have to rebuild anything. I went straight from ideation to implementation. That's the entire point. You're designing and building the same tool, which means you're cutting your workflow in half. It's just a faster way to work. Less context switching, less file management, less friction. Okay, here is where this gets even better. Framer's AI tool, Wireframer, now works directly inside design pages. So if you're starting at a blank canvas and don't know where to start, you can use Wireframer to generate layout ideas right here on your design page. I can type, create a landing page for a SaaS product, and it generates a wireframe right here. But now, I can even ask it to generate multiple pages on the same canvas. So I could say, now create a pricing page, and it adds that next to my landing page. There it is. You see, everything is consistent in terms of styling, typography, layout, etc. Super helpful for mapping out a full site structure quickly. And here is what I like about this. Even if you're not a huge AI person, Wireframer is genuinely useful for getting past that blank canvas moment. You know that feeling when you're starting a new project and you're just not sure where to begin? This solves that. You can generate a few options, pick the structure that feels right, then customize it from there. You're not locked into what the AI gives you. It's just a starting point. Even if you don't use the AI layouts exactly as they are, they are great for getting unstuck or exploring different structural approaches. One more thing, design pages isn't just for websites. You can use this space to create social graphics, add creatives, email headers, whatever you need. Just design it on the canvas, select your frame, 
and export it. You can export static images or even vectors, which means if you're doing brand work or content creation, you can handle a lot of that here instead of jumping into other tools. It's not trying to replace every design tool you use, but it can consolidate more of your workflow than you'd expect. And because you're working in the same tool where you built the website, your branding stays consistent. Same fonts, same colors, same design language. That consistency is harder to maintain when you're jumping between three different tools. You can start in Framer, stay in Framer, and publish from Framer. And honestly, for a lot of designers, that's going to be true, especially if you're primarily building websites and you're tired of the hand of process. Is the design page going to replace Figma for everything? Probably not. Figma is still great for product design, app design, collaborative design systems, stuff like that. But for web design specifically, this is a legitimate alternative. So if you're designing websites and you're currently using Figma plus Framer, design pages is worth testing. The workflow is genuinely faster once you adjust to it. I've got a link in the description if you want to try it out. Thanks for watching. If you want more Framer tutorials, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and see you soon.